I have a friend who asked me to repaint this MTH crane car tender. He likes chessing and asked if I would paint it to match his crane, also by MTH. He liked the look of 7953 in the middle, but asked that I customize it like 79131 on the top with a second orange stripe. And if it was possible, if I could match the yellow on the crane. I like to start by taking the car apart and giving it an alcohol bath in 91% isopropyl alcohol. Now in this post-COVID environment, the alcohol has gone from 99 cents a bottle to almost $4 a bottle. That makes the stripping a little bit more expensive, but I still prefer this method over some of the other methods used to strip MTH paint. I like to do a bath for about 48 hours. After the first 24 hours, you can see almost all the purple paint is gone and the silver paint is coming off. After 48 hours and a little light brushing with a toothbrush, this is the end result. Next up is a coat of light gray primer from True Color Paint. Rather than paint the entire deck blue, I asked my friend if he wanted the wooden boards more of a wood color. I tried this recently on one of my flat cars and I loved the results. He went ahead and told me to go ahead and give it a try. In my opinion, this next step is critical when painting a multiple color model. In this case, um, the frame here is going to be blue and we've masked off our wood deck. Uh, in order to prevent bleed through when I paint this blue and paint blue paint getting underneath the tape, we're going to do another color of the wood brown on top of this tape. And that's kind of kind of seal in any cracks or crevices that may have been uh, left there after I applied the tape. This is a, a, a layer of Timea tape all the way around the edge and then just regular painter's tape on top of that. But I found the Timea tape gives a nice bond and a nice seal. But we're gonna, we're gonna protect that by shooting the exact same color with our air gun. We're just gonna shoot a little bit of light paint right on the tape and try to seal that, that crevice up so we don't have any issues when we go to paint the blue. So we'll let that dry. I'll do the other sides. And then you'll see when we do the blue and we pull our tape off, we'll have a nice, crisp, clean line. While we let the frame dry and cure, I painted the caboose part and the toolboxes. I was able to match the yellow pretty good. I used True Color Chessy Yellow. Now here is the frame with the blue paint. And you'll see that extra step of painting the uh, wood tan on top of the tape really paid off well. Take a look at how beautiful these lines are. And I did the same technique with the toolbox and the shell, painting each piece an extra coat of yellow over the tape before I painted the orange stripe. The next step was to apply a gloss clear coat over all of the pieces that receive decals. Then I apply the water slide decals over the gloss coat after it dries. Then after they dry, I do a matte finish clear coat over the entire model. I hope my friend likes it. I think the paint matched the crane car pretty well. Thanks for watching.